Check out that catfish. Are you freaking kidding me right now? All right, today we are starting off with the latches. I just kind of drilled this hole out. Hopefully she works. I did measure it, so it should work, but uh, first time really doing this, so I'm not really sure, but we'll see. Here is the latch. So this will go down in the hole and sit just like that. These are the locking latches, by the way. And it feels like it's catching onto the latch, so that is good. Man, it feels good to be back on the John boat. Sorry that the content has been a little different with this whole shed thing, but I had to get it done. And the last two days have been so freaking hectic. I'm just trying to get ready for it. They're supposed to come today to deliver it and never called. So that's awesome. But I spent all morning out there cutting down trees, making a road. But now it is completely ready for the shed. So now we just gotta wait for them to call. And I can actually get back to my normal life of working on the John boat and fishing. I'm going fishing tonight. I've not been fishing in so freaking long, and I miss it. So now we should be able to put her in the hole, see how she sits. Oh yeah, sits right underneath that lip. And then we can put the back on. Once again, guys, these will have to come off when I do the foam. But for now, I just want them on. All right, so there is the first latch done. Also, all these latches I got do lock, so if I'm ever out in public somewhere and have to leave the boat i can lock her up completely which is good because i worry a lot all right the first latch is done only eight more to go but before we continue that everyone has been commenting am i putting a vent in this gas tank compartment and yes in fact we got two vents we got the vt2 live well system vents these are the best vents you can get for your boat but i will probably be putting two something like that Air will come in, go down, push all the bad air out of the vent on the back side. But these are literally the best vents you can get, so should not be any worry at all about gas fumes being stuck inside the compartment. We will be installing these once I get that cut out. But let's go ahead and move on to the next latch. I'm a little worried about this latch on these doors, honestly, because the door is so small and there's not much room in here. I may have to cut into the support piece here, but we will see. One way we can see that is taking off the base and sticking it here on the back. Actually it fits, but the thing is, that hole has to be at least an inch and a half. We might be good. I mean, it's gonna be very, very close, but we might actually be good. 22 and three quarter so 11 and three eighths let's go ahead and do this one maybe we can get this one done a lot quicker 16 inches eight inches and we'll go one and a half it's roughly an inch and a quarter so two and a half yeah inch and a quarter so an inch and a quarter from that mark should be center so the actual drill center is two and three quarter Now that's freaking tight as crap how it should be dang it all right second latch is installed and guys this one's super tight right from the get-go that is why you want to buy nate's custom lids because they're perfect drill your hole one and a half inch away and it's super simple no problems you can get these guys off of tbnation.net pre-made lids and they're freaking awesome they come in black i just painted mine white that's why the top of mine is still black but once i cover this with the gray foam it'll all look gray and white but that one's done there's two ah oh, that feels so good on the wrist ow guys if you could do me a solid and just you know hit that like button that'd be awesome let me know you're enjoying the video enjoying the boat build We've come a long ways from where we started. You know what? That's sitting on top of that lip 
and it's still tight as balls. Alright, now we should make sure it latches. Looks like it will. Oh! Oh! He's locked! So that gives me confidence in being able to do all the rest of them. Third latch done. Let's go ahead and stick the key in there so we don't lose it. I want to check out these doors because... Oh, actually these look bigger. Yeah, that's no problem whatsoever right there. Hopefully. If we can get this one, we can definitely get this one. Dude, shut the f*** up. Can you really tighten it like that? Oh my god, that's how you get it tight. I'm so stupid. <laughs> that's how you freaking tighten them. You just twist the handle. Boom, now it should be perfect. Just got that one tighter. Dude. <laughs> yes, no wiggle at all. I'm a genius and stupid at the same time. I'm sure other people knew that, I just didn't think about it until I twisted the handle. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute! We're gonna get these latches done in no time. And we reflexes the... Alright, let's see if she works. Tight again. Yeah, buddy. Guys, once I added these latches, it's actually starting to look like a boat. Like, it's insane. <laughs> I see a boat now. Do y'all guys see a boat? It's crazy. Crazy what a few latches can do. Alright, so we got it to where that back plate will screw on. I mean, it's literally touching it down here. Hopefully she can shut. This shit's too stressful, man. Oh, okay. Never mind. We are golden. Oh, so stressful. I shut it when it was uh, locked in position this way. And it was hitting on that lip right there. So I was like, oh crap, it's not going to freaking shut, but we're good. Like I said, this is too stressful. There's no going back once you drill that hole. You gotta know what you're doing. Make sure you're drilling it in the right spot. Do your latches way before you do your lid supports. So, and your struts. Do your struts and your latches. Know what gap you have for the support and then do your support. And your drawn bolt build will be way less stressful. Trust me. She's tight. Yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. That literally... Could not have been any better. Look, that's literally touching right there. Got very lucky on that one, but now I know where I need to drill all these other lids that match that. All right, so this last door here has the support going all the way across. So I debated taking off the entire support, which is uh, one, two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve rivets. I figured, you know what? Let's just take a cutting wheel to that and cut this section off. All right, I'm not gonna film this, but I will get back to y'all when I get done cutting this piece out. So I got some new rivets in there holding that onto the door and hopefully this should be able to come off now. Aha. Uh -huh. Boom. Once we uh, get all this painted white, it'll look good again. But now we should be able to attach the latch. There's that one. And now we can go ahead and throw in some rivets right here just to close those holes. You can rivet just the door to close a hole that you drilled perfect 
0.49 pounds for one, we'll call it 0.50 to make it easy. 50 times eight, that is four pounds. Four pounds for adding these nine latches to the boat. There's lures everywhere out here. Guys, if you need any lines, softsteelusa.com. This stuff is so freaking strong. Watching Michael Lopez's video. He's distracting me, dang it, Michael. But we're about to do the last latch on the boot. Fuck. I love it. It's so fun. Fun, 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 fun. Oh, God, that about breaks your wrist every time. All right, the last latch. And she works like a charm. Sweet, there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine latches. Now we need to vacuum this boat because there is shavings everywhere. And the boat's cleaned off finally. This is kind of sad though, man. We lost our nice, flat, smooth deck. It looked really cool with just the deck, but now we have all these bumps. Of course, when we add the foam, that will all be somewhat level. These may still be a little bit higher with the gaskets on, but it'll be all right. So there is all the latches installed on the John boat. We're one step closer to being done. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. Hello.